Right, and as the entire nation mourns the loss of those who were on board that ill-fated ferry, Korean authorities are broadening their investigation into what exactly happened on the day of the ferry capsized and who is responsible for this man-made disaster. Police and prosecutors continue their joint investigation into the captain, crew and owner of the marine company that operated the Seoul ferry. For details on the joint investigation between these groups, we connect live with our Yurian at the news center. Leon, what do we have so far? Good evening, guys. All 15 crew members, including the captain that escaped the doomed Toyota ferry, are now facing criminal charges. The remaining four out of the 15 have been charged with negligent homicide and violating maritime law just within the past few hours. Now, the comments coming from the crew members are also causing quite a stir. Answering to questions by reporters earlier today, one of the elder crewmen with a surname Son claimed that he stayed in the vessel as long as he could to assess that's how serious the situation was until he was forced to flee to get rescued. But the radio transcripts with the marine traffic control in Jindo showed that the crew members tried to escape only 10 minutes after they made the announcement telling passengers to stay in their cabins and as soon as the rescue team arrived at the site. Now, as for the captain, Lee jun suk who was one of the first people to escape the sinking ferry, authorities are still looking into uh, charging him with something called a murder by a mission. Murder by a mission is pursued when death is caused by inaction on the part of the defendant. Right, Leanne, uh, not only that, uh, prosecutors are cracking down on the operator of the ferry, the Chongijin Marine Company. Tell us more on that. That's right. Prosecutors seem to think that the fundamental reason behind the sinking of the ferry could lie with its operator, which faces allegations that it lobbied its way out of regular safety checkups. A joint investigation team is now looking through the documents collected from its raid of the offices and homes of company owner Yu byung on The company's audit report last year shows that its entertainment expenses since 2001 had amounted to over 900,000 U.S. dollars. The the prosecution is looking into both Chong Hye Jin Marine Company and its affiliate Chon Hye Ji to review how these expenses were used, with speculation again that some of it may have gone toward lobbying lawmakers to opt out of safety checkups and also to increase their assets. And now the government will launch a review of all disaster countermeasures I heard. Could you tell us a little bit more about that, Leon? That's right. The Disaster Control Tower has announced plans to review its disaster countermeasure manuals in all ministries. As you may remember, the Coast Guard and the government were criticized for their slow response to the accident, raising speculation that the emergency procedure and command cha chain failed to operate properly. Uh, now, during a ministerial level meeting Thursday, Prime Minister Chung Hong Won said a safety innovation master plan should be made. He suggested private safety personnel be consulted to come up with a practical plan. This comes after President Park Geun-hye called for the review of the entire disaster and emergency response systems. There's also a number of new laws that are being proposed. Of course, there's the one that mandates safety management personnel to be on board all large-sized vessels, and also another that would make it illegal for captains without a first-class sailing licenses to sail vessels weighing more than 6,000 tons. The Seoro came in at nearly 7,000 tons. The captain of the Seoro ferry, Lee jun suk holds a second-class sailing license, which is allowed under uh, current regulations. The Maritime Ministry has also announced that it will revise related laws to revoke a crew member's license if a ferry accident leads to any deaths. And I'll bring you more updates in our later newscasts.